Hey guys, you know, I didn't really do too much of anything today with this Rob Rouser just tore up the gas tank and decided to add a couple of things here and there. Um, one of them was is that, you know, this is the original gas tank. That's a sticker I put on a long time ago when I first got the tractor. And, uh, seems to be a fairly good sized tank. But, um, I just don't know where I'm going to put it right now. But, uh, no, this is what I did. What I did is that I decided to play Smart Alec. Took the amp meter, the amp gauge, and I wanted to switch around with an hour gauge. But then I thought, well, I need, well, I need one of these. I don't know if the battery can be charging or not. And I still gotta go all the way back there and get my battery, but so I decided to take the gas tank out and put that in there. And I thought that makes it look pretty interesting. I think it looks pretty neat the way that looks. But um hoping to make this thing look fairly decent. Um, my idea guys, if you've ever really seen this thing on YouTube, I'm hoping there's some people that have. Um, I said that I was going to paint it like black and gold and I was going to do it turquoise and stuff like that. i basically gone through that and I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to paint it probably like this color blue. The whole thing. It's going to be that. And I'm going to keep the chrome rims. I'm going to try and do the silver trimming again. Like I, even I like I did on the hood and everything, but I'm gonna keep the engine, the original color of it. Unfortunately, the little shield or something for this engine I can't put back on it. I don't know. It's just it seems it's not lining in right, and I don't know what happened, but I just don't really care. It's just an engine. Besides, it runs. That's all that matters. And then after I get all that done. I'm gonna see if I can get the um, I'm gonna see if I can get my more deck for it, which is supposed to go right here, 32 inch. It's got the two blades on the bottom. Pretty interesting more deck. I'm gonna see if I can paint that white. So it's basically gonna be like a light blue tractor. I'm gonna try and make um, try and probably make two or one whole white stripe going down here sort of like that you know almost like a Yanko Camaro like they used in Too Fast Too Furious that's the way I want it but hopefully it's gonna look like a good tractor after but one thing I'm having troubles with right at this moment is the gas tank because it's not a this ain't a twin cylinder engine so I can't put the gas tank in the back but because I ripped the original tank out of it I have to replace it so this is what I'm going to be using I gotta clean it up and it's something's inside it but that's basically what's looking right like right now and uh, maybe I'll just keep the tank like that keep it loose I don't know bounce around with it I can tell you like some idiots I've actually seen where people take old garden tractors and lawn tractors and they put them in a demolition derby and they just smash the hell out of them These guys are just stupid I don't know what the meaning of the word antique or collectible is this lawn tractor however believe it or not it is a collectible it's a 1978 Dynastar and you don't see many of these things anymore Cause it's all Dynamark or whatever, but all I know is that's a little rare thing. I think I just had a tick on me. Ooh. Good. This is how she's looking, man. Yeah, I know. Fenders, they, they look pretty good with it on, eh? I 
I should try to make a hinge so that way I can just put them up and I can just make a storage compartment right there. That'd be pretty cool. But I gotta put these fenders back anyway. Or I'm gonna sit them down for now. I'm hoping to hoping to try and find wheel weights for it, you know, like drill holes in the rims and everything and just put wheel weights on it. That'd look pretty cool too. Some of the families that like to attend and enjoy themselves for the sake of baseball. Uh, beer prices have actually increased at the Sky Dome, at least more Budweiser tall boys. And now the guys who serve the beer in the stands are a little upset about this. Say they used to be priced at $9.50, but they raised them up to $10. Bucks. Well, that $0.50 cents used to be their tip. Now, an average beer guy or beer woman in the stands would sell on a bag of Get a point. Whoa! You guys can see that. Which way she goes by, man. Nice! Unfortunately, this little iPod, uh, iPhone, whatever you want to call it, this thing, doesn't have a, a zoom in for it for videos, but it does for pictures, which is kind of retarded, but. Eh, whatever. I'm going to see if I can do this. Um, silver again. I got the uh, cap. I just gotta mess around with that. I'm thinking about putting like a little symbol or something on the cap. But anyway, the orange blossom special guy. She's parked out back. I'm gonna part her out. And I was thinking of putting the twin cylinder in this, but then I realized, well, this is a small rinky dinky tractor, and you're gonna have a huge twin cylinder engine in this thing, and it's not gonna look that good. We'll be able to put the side panels also on, so the hood would just say Rebel. There's going to be no rouser on it. And I don't know if I told you guys before how I got the name uh, Rebel Rousers from the song, one of Dwayne Eddy's songs that he wrote called Rebel Rouser. That's how I got the name of it. Well, that's all I did today. Yeah, I'm monkey around. Oh, yeah, I decided I uh, put the muffler back on too, so make it a little quiet. But maybe later on I'll put a stack on it, like not not like a not like I did before, but probably like one of those ones that are like silver or something like that. And just put a flap on. It. That'll look pretty interesting, and then I'll probably cut grass with it after. I don't know. I wanted to make I wanted to make it into a pulling tractor. It's a little small, but it's got a big aluminum transmission in it, so it's a pre it's pretty tough for a little rinky dinky mower. So I don't know. We'll see. Well, John Vidium 13 signing off, guys. Take care.